Yep. Welcome to the video. Uh, new vlog. So it's Monday morning. As you guys know, uh, Kobe died yesterday. If it takes you this incident for you to like appreciate life, the money, the fame, all that stuff, he had no control over what happened. Only thing he had control over was his mindset and everything he's done up to that point. So if you guys aren't appreciating life every single day, then I don't know what to tell you. Like if it takes you this moment to realize that, then you guys just gotta change your outlook, change the habits you guys have every day when it comes to mindset and how you look at your life. He, he woke up, he didn't know that that was his last day. All right, so someone watching, that could be your last day, who knows? Hopefully it's not, but it could be. So like literally when you wake up, you gotta be grateful that you even got to wake up. You got to put on some shoes, you got to drive out the door, like all that stuff. Like every little thing, every, every single moment you guys get is not guaranteed. Like I, I preach this stuff to you guys and like hopefully maybe one of you guys has changed your mindset a little bit, but it's just real talk. Like you gotta, you gotta appreciate everything you guys have. It can be taken at any moment. It doesn't matter who you are, even Kobe Bryant. Everyone thought he was invincible. I, I was like, yo, this dude's invincible. Last person I would expect to die, right? Any of us could go at any moment. You gotta appreciate each moment and try to leave, leave a legacy, right? He died, he left something behind. So if you guys are watching this, try to leave something behind too, leave an impact on the world and yeah, that's it. You gotta appreciate everything you guys got, all right? Let's get to the video though. All right, what up guys? So uh, it's the next day, so just filmed that one little clip yesterday. But so right now I kind of want to go through and take you guys through some of the ways that I break down film, how it can benefit you guys. But I need your guys' help. So for the next video, I have a couple ideas. I want to see what you guys think, what you guys want to see. So one of those ideas is make a video about eating kind of as an athlete, maybe as a student athlete. If you guys don't have easy access to maybe good food, you don't have a lot of money to pay for good food, how you guys can make it work for you guys as an athlete and still be able to eat pretty good. The second idea is kind of go through the entire story of my training, how I started, where it is at this exact point and where I'm trying to take it next over the next couple of years. And then the third one was gonna kind of be like how I structure workouts for players based on your situation, um, based on your age, based on in season versus out of season, and kind of go through that kind of stuff. So um, please, please, please drop a comment below and let me know what you guys think, maybe one of those three, or if you guys have another idea that you guys wanna see, Please let me know in the comments. It really helps me create content that you guys want to see and that benefits you guys. So drop that below and then uh, we'll get into this right now. All right, so there's a lot of different ways that you guys can go through film. So obviously you guys can go through film on yourselves, but you guys can also go through film of other games to learn something. So depending on your situation, it'll obviously depend on what you guys are looking for. So right now we can just go through another game and I'll kind of show you guys what I look at. Uh, to try to learn more about the game, learn more about reads, certain things like that. So sometimes I'll go through just straight up full games, just watch a lot of the makes, um, not just the highlight plays, just every single made basket, go through that. So maybe I'll just be looking for pick and roll stuff. Maybe I'll just be looking for uh, off the catch stuff, off the screen stuff, certain things like that. So depending on what I want to see, um, I'll change what I'm looking at depending on that. So this is a good kind of play right here. So if you guys are, say you guys are coaches, maybe you guys can go through this. Um, you guys can also look at the sets, right? So um, Donovan Mitchell comes off a pick and roll right here, gets this guy to drop down, and now as you guys can see that there's a screen away from the ball, he's going to screen this guy right here as he lifts up, giving him kind of a pretty open shot. Now he reads that his defender closes out too hard, right? So now he's shot faking, gets him out of position, now he's driving. Right, but as you guys can see, now you have to look at the read. So this guy is collapsing, this guy is collapsing. Uh, Tucker is forced to stay on 27. So then now that is leaving the corner wide open. Right, so if you guys are players, you guys can go through this. And if you guys look at these reads enough times, you guys are going to notice once you guys get in games, you guys are kind of seeing it one step ahead. So he starts to shot fake, starts to drive. One, two, he collapses here, kick out right there. Now if he stays to him, that dump down pass to 27 is going to be wide open, right? So here, boom, kick out, shot fake, get into a shot. So yeah, so reads are one of the big things I can look at. I'm also going to look at a lot of footwork, finishing, um, stuff like that, a lot of footwork technical stuff. Um, just make sure I have all the skills down. I know why each person's doing all these little skills, so let's try to find one of those. So just another thing like this, now we got Clarkson. Is that Clarkson? Yeah, so now we got him out of a triple threat. He's reading his defender, right? So 
first thing we got is you just got a jab and then we got a backward step, right? So his top foot for that defender is right here. So he's going to try to attack that top foot and attack down that gap. So now he decides that he is opening up completely, gonna get into a cross. Now you can see this guy is completely out of position right here after he crosses, forcing him to open his hips, kind of get out of position, gets into a pretty decent shot right there. So that is a lot of skills and reads both in the same play, right? So you guys gotta learn and go through what skills am I gonna perform based off of certain reads, and you guys can kind of go through that. The more you guys watch it, the more you guys are gonna learn, the more it's gonna stick. So basically the way I go through film as a coach and trainer is to learn, right? So I'm going to look at sets, I'm going to look at skills, I'm going to look at reads, I'm going to try to find every little nuance I can that players are going to do uh, to help them give them a little advantage. So now as a player, if you guys are trying to watch film on yourself, as you guys go through film of yourself, it's definitely important to look at what you guys do well and then what you guys don't do well. And then there's also a lot of situations that you guys probably don't even notice where you guys can gain an advantage. So maybe you only really look at, okay, I scored here, that's awesome. I missed a shot here, what did I do wrong? But there's also a lot of opportunities within the game where you guys could have said, I could have took an opportunity here, or if I did this, maybe I would have got a look. So you guys gotta look at opportunities you guys got, didn't get, and then opportunities where you can create situations for yourself. As you guys go through film on yourself, try to watch it from a perspective of someone else, right? So don't try to watch it like it's yourself and be emotionally attached and try to um, either judge yourself if you're making mistakes or try to um, lean away from actually correcting yourself because you know it's yourself and you don't want to like uh, criticize yourself if you will. Try to watch it from the perspective of someone else. Um, just go through uh, with no bias. Figure out where you guys can improve, what you guys are already good at and where you guys can get more opportunities based on your skill set. And then after you guys watch that, you guys can kind of create a game plan for your training. Right, which I can maybe do, talk about in the next video is kind of how to structure workouts, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically just how I go through film. I'll watch games. I'll watch uh, certain situations, pick and roll, off the catch, uh, off down screens, stuff like that. Um, and then I'll just look for small nuances, skills, and reads, and really just go through it until I can know basically everything I possibly can. Basically, almost every day that I watch film, I try to pick up at least one small little thing. Obviously, the more I watch, the harder it is to get and learn more stuff, but I'm always learning. I've been watching film literally every morning for over a year and a half now, so you learn a lot by watching film, for sure. There's a lot of other small benefits. Um, I'm not really going to go too detailed, too sciencey on you guys, but um, a lot of value in watching film, whether that's on yourself or on other people, so I highly, highly recommend it. All right, what up? So we are about to go train. Three o'clock, leaving the house. Just got three sessions today, so nothing crazy. My boy Manny is back in town for a couple days. He's here. Shut up. Uh, yeah, Manny's back in town for a couple days. He's here. His girlfriend's about to score a thousand points. Uh, so we're surprising her for that. So this video will come out after that anyways. Yeah, so let's go. Yo, yo, yo. What you do, baby? Just got done quick workout. Uh, did a quick little shooting drill myself. Said I did pretty well. I'm still a shooter, right? I still got I was locked in. What up? So just got home from training. Uh, ate did all that good stuff back here. Chopping up this post for tomorrow, adding all the captions. Yeah, for anyone who thinks all this content stuff is easy, it is not. Number one, thinking of different ideas to post all the time. I posted over 500 times on my Instagram. To think of almost 500 different posts is extremely hard. I love putting out the content. I love providing value for players. It's a lot of fun. Um, it is a challenge sometimes. It does get annoying sometimes, like when things go wrong, but overall, I love it. Um, so yeah, just doing that. I'm gonna finish up with a little bit of film for like literally 20 minutes. Um, try to do a couple more things on my computer. Get ready for tomorrow. Got workout with Manny again in the morning, so I didn't really show anything. From that workout, my boy Kevin uh, is going to go be there tomorrow to film. Uh, so probably chop up a nice little edit or something. And then we're going to also film a little bit tomorrow morning, about 30 minutes for Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, just chopping this up. Uh, it's about 9 p.m. right now. We'll see you boys and ladies 
No more. Bradley Bill might be the, the, the low key might be the top three shooter guys in the league right now. Who's one and two? Harden's one. That's fair. And then the second one, I not hurt probably Clay. But then it goes Bradley Bill. Easily. Just filming out here. Uh, 30 minutes real quick. I'm about to get a workout with Manny. Uh, my boy will be here to film, so we'll drop some of those clips in there right now. back home i gotta send these videos that i edited last night that i showed you guys and send those to myself post them up twitter instagram yes yeah, so then i gotta get on huddle and watch the film for the team i work with unfortunately they lost last night so that should be a rough film to try to watch gotta break that down take notes stuff like that try to do that as quick as i can before hopefully 10 15 so i got like an hour to do that both of those and then cook breakfast the usual and then try to hit the gym a little later so let's get this work So just got back and end the video here. Uh, if you guys are still watching, I really appreciate it. Um, definitely comment below what you guys think you want the next video to be. It really helps me create good content and entertaining content for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys are still watching, I appreciate you. Like always, we'll see you in the next one.